What's up everybody, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna show you a few ways on how you can download WordPress to your local development environment. Now the first approach is the standard approach that most people go through. They'll go to the WordPress download page and they'll click on download WordPress right there. It'll download to your system, you go to your file explorer, then from here, you have to extract it. That'll take some time, but what you can do then is, once it's done extracting, copy it. Go to your hcdocs folder and paste it there. So I'm just going to label this WP1. And now I'm going to show you a faster way to get this done. X out of there, X out of there, and we don't need this either. All right, so I'm going to be in Visual Studio Code. I'm going to open up a terminal. Right now it's using PowerShell, but I'm going to change over to Git Bash. Check my present working directory. Then I'm going to change to the C drive, to the MAMP folder, to the hcdocs folder. I'll run an ls-l command to get a listing of all the directories that are there. And you see we have the WP1 right there. But there's a faster way to go about downloading WordPress into this folder. We could use curl. So I'll type out curl dash L O space HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash WordPress dot org forward slash latest dot zip. So again, the command is curl space dash capital L capital O space HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash wordpress.org forward slash latest dot zip. I'll hit enter. And now you see it's downloading there. I'll do another ls dash l command. And now you see we have the latest dot zip file right there. So now we can unzip that with the unzip command. Then latest dot zip. So unzip space latest dot zip. It'll go about unzipping that file. And now if we do our ls-l command again. We now see we have WordPress there. When you unzip the latest.zip file, it'll call it WordPress. And now we could rename that to something different. So I use the MV, it's the move command, but it's also used to change the name of a folder. So move WordPress, and I'll call it WP2. Now hit enter. Now I'll just scroll up to get the ls-l command again. And now you see that it's renamed to wp2. Now you can leave this here if you want, the latest.zip file. But I'm just going to remove that with the remove command. And now we see it's no longer there. So that's how to do it with curl. Now there's another way to go about this, and you can use git for this. So I'm going to go back to my browser. And now there's two links that you can go to. There is this one here, or you can go to this one over here. And basically what you're gonna do, grab one of these links over here from the code drop down, copy the link to your clipboard right there, go back to your terminal, then type out git clone, then paste that in, hit enter, and it's gonna clone it into your htdocs folder. And now I'm going to hit the up arrow to get the ls-l command again. Hit enter. And now we see we have the WordPress develop. Let's go back to the browser. I'm going to do the same thing here. Git clone. And hit enter. And then once it's done, I'll go back to the ls-l command. And now we see we have WordPress here. We have the other one we did, WordPress-Develop. Then we have our first two. Now what I'm going to do is put in that last command that we used, put in a space, and then type out a different name. And what this is going to do is as it downloads from GitHub, it's going to rename that folder instead of WordPress into WPTest or whatever name you decide to give it. Once it's done, I'll check the folder structure again. 
And now you see we have another copy, but it's called WP Test. Now there's other ways you can download WordPress via the command line. You could use wget, or you could use wp-cli. But for that one, I'm going to do another tutorial that's more in-depth on how to use wp-cli and what benefits it brings to your development process. All right, so now, how are you going to go about downloading WordPress? Are you going to stick to the standard way of just downloading the file from the wordpress.org website? Or are you going to use one of these terminal commands to get it into your hcdocs folders? Let me know down below. All right, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification icon. And as always, thanks for watching and happy coding.